Hi, my name is Nick Layton, and for the next few minutes, you are exactly where you want to be. This is originally recorded September 8th, 2020 for Facebook Live Uncut and Uncensored. Let's talk today about results and relationships. This is particularly of relevance for those in a professional service business, and more specifically for those who have a business where they have named accounts, um, where your clients are paying for your service month to month, maybe on a retainer, or they come back for repeat business. As a business owner, it is normal for us to be worried about the health of our business. We're trying to find the best ways so we can offer the best customer service while maximizing profits. But ultimately, the most efficient way to do that is to keep our customers happy so they remain customers in the long term and there's reduced turnover. In this type of a situation, I found business owners are worried about their customers' expectations and if they're being met. They're worried about service quality and ultimately they're worried about losing customers, particularly customers that have recurring revenue with them. If this sounds like you, then you are definitely not alone. I want to share with you one very quick tip that will help you overcome that and overcome the worry and possibly, possibly even help you sleep at night. You need a customer or client health dashboard. When it comes to professional services, there are really two things that need to happen in the long term to keep your clients. The first is you must be getting results, and the second is you must have great communication so you have a strong relationship with your client. And in an ideal world, both your results and your relationships are strong. But there are times when results are not achievable and they may dip down, in which case, as long as your relationship is strong, then you should be able to maintain that long-term client, so long as you could bring the results up in the short term. Similarly, if the relationship that you're having with that client dips slightly, but your results are strong, then you probably can remain a client in the long term, so long as you can build that relationship back up. You see, one supports the other, results and relationships. Now, if you had a dashboard that appeared on your digital technology of choice every day and showed each client by name and a scale from zero to 10 of how good their results were presently and how good the relationship was presently, you would have great insights as to the health of each of those clients and your total company. Your results are probably going to be quite objective and the feeling of a relationship is maybe subjective. Still, if you gave each a score of zero to 10 and looked at the client's name and you saw that they were close to 10 on both, you're not gonna be so worried about them. If you see a client is high on one score but low on the other, then you know exactly where you need to focus. And if you're seeing that the majority of your clients are all very healthy, then maybe it's time to have some closer look at each client. Reduce the clients at the bottom of your roster that are less profitable or the ones who just don't give you the passion for your own business. Remember, as an owner of a company, you choose who you do business with and it can be very healthy to remove clients to make space for others. Consider what you could put together right now. For your business, that would help you give visibility to the company's health. It'll be broken down by client and should look at both results and relationships that you hold with them. Would such a dashboard give you peace of mind? could that help you sleep better at night. Now, it's your turn. What does your dashboard look like and how did you build it? Post it here, I would love to know. And if you found just one nugget of advice or inspiration in this quick video, please do me a favor and like and share. Follow this page and join me next Tuesday when we'll take another look at entrepreneurship and business ownership for today's economy. My name is Nick Layton. I wish you passion, profit, and happiness.